In this video, I examine the relationship between inflation and interest rates and the implications for financial risk management. Businesses borrow money for various purposes, financing and expansion, improving productivity within the plant, managing liquidity, etc. There are also multiple options available when it comes to borrowing money. Different loan products will have different payment flexibility, terms, and interest rates. Understanding differences in interest rates is useful to manage financial risk for the business. Note that understanding patterns in interest rates is different from projecting future interest rates because sadly, nobody can predict the future. When thinking about current and future interest rates, it's useful to think of the role of the Bank of Canada. The Bank of Canada's main objective is to keep inflation low and stable. Price stability is good for consumers and businesses as they can plan more easily. The Bank of Canada does not control inflation. Rather, it looks to slow down or accelerate inflationary pressures by changing its policy interest rate called the overnight rate. This rate is reviewed eight times a year at predetermined dates. The Bank of Canada will tighten monetary policy or raise its interest rate when inflation exceeds its target of 2%. Conversely, expectations of inflation running low would imply a cut in the overnight rate. The key word here is expectations. It's not necessarily about where inflation is, but mostly where it is projected to be. In response to inflationary pressures in 2022 and 2023, the Bank of Canada lifted its policy interest rate as shown to the right of the figure on the screen. When it felt that the economy would need a boost at the beginning of the pandemic, it lowered the overnight rate as shown on the chart in early 2020. The Bank of Canada overnight rate is by far the most quoted interest rate in the media, but is it the most relevant for food and beverage manufacturers? In other words, how does it impact the interest rate charged to businesses that borrow money? A change in the overnight rate can lead to similar changes in interest rates quoted for various loans. Sometimes the connection is direct. For example, variable rates for a mortgage or a line of credit will be impacted immediately by a change in the overnight rate because the variable rate is based on what we refer to as the prime rate. And the prime rate itself moves right away with changes in the overnight rate. It's a little different for long-term interest rates. For example, a five-year fixed mortgage rate is based on the bond markets and bond yields depend on factors other than the overnight rate. Traders sell and buy bonds from governments, financial institutions, and corporations. There's a free market setting the value of these bonds based on supply and demand, just like for any other commodity. Bond yields indicate how mortgage rates of different terms for three years, five years, etc. are likely to trend. When yields go up, so will the cost of funds of financial institutions, and thus interest rates charged to borrowers on long-term fixed-rate mortgages would also go up. Consider the chart on the screen which presents two interest rate benchmarks, the yield on the one-year Treasury bill and the yield on the Government of Canada five-year bond. The shorter maturity of the one-year Treasury bill makes the yield of this financial instrument strongly correlated with the Bank of Canada overnight rate. The patterns in the two benchmarks are not identical. Sometimes the yield on the five-year bond will be higher than the yield on the one-year Treasury bill, such as in 2014. In this case, bond traders expect that rates will climb to reflect the expectations of strong economic growth and future inflationary pressures. On the far right of the screen, the situation is different. The higher Bank of Canada overnight rate pushed up the yield of the one-year Treasury bill. It also pushed up yields on the five-year government bonds, but not as much, causing the five-year rate in 2023 to be lower than the one-year rate. A borrower looking to renew a loan in 2023 would have to weigh the higher borrowing costs on a one-year term against future possible declines in short-term interest rates versus the benefits of a currently lower and locked-in five-year rate. Weighing short-term versus long-term borrowing costs is a complicated matter. Communication with your lender is critical to understand the different factors to consider. These factors include the timing of capital investments, that is when loans are being paid off or when new investments will be required, the loan product features, that is prepayment limits and fees, cash flow and structure of existing debt, and one's risk tolerance. Conducting scenario analysis can help businesses understand their risk exposure to different economic environments. Looking for more economic insights and expertise? Find tools and resources to help you manage your food and beverage business at FCC Knowledge.